Is everybody ready? Sorry. I'll come back to you in a second. Select Board's meeting, April 23rd, 2018, Monday, 5.30 p.m. In attendance, Mr. Mogul, Mr. Deedy, Mr. Fox, Mr. Steinhardt, Mrs. Pendleton. Good afternoon and welcome to this Select Board meeting for Monday, April 23rd. Uh, as a note, this, uh, this meeting, like all boards and committee meetings, are being recorded. And if anyone else is recording, please make it known to the chair. You are? Um, I'm Kimia Zaga. From the Southwick News. Yes. And you're going to be recording this meeting as well? I will. Okay. You've all been noticed. <laughs> okay, first thing at 5.30, we have public comments. Does have any, anyone have any public comments that they'd like to address to the board? Excellent work. Seeing how it's now 535, we'll call Jackie Seddon and Arden Masoya from the Southwick Tallinn Granville Regional School District Health Careers Club donation. And I, I saw a Julia Fox too. We'll take her too. Come on up. I think we might have another. Yeah, yeah, we have yes, another and one more. I, I, I need to get your name. Claire Stratton. Claire Stratton. Yes. Okay. There we go. Did he make it? Yes. And we do keep to a strict two fox limit. Yeah. <laughs> so you're here to get the community service hours we're going to give you. We have those items that need to be painted. <laughs> no? No. All right. I, that's why I thought this was I thought it was the kennels. Oh, the kennel cleaning. Mm. I'm sorry. Yeah. Could you name what this Portion is. I'm sorry, can we can get you an agenda. This is the Southwick Tall and Granville Regional School District School Health Careers Club, and they have a project that they want to work on, and they're making a presentation to the select board. Who's presenting? Uh, I guess we kind of all are. So, um, so our project that we're working on right now is um, raising money to get a um, AED and a code blue light system, so one of the casings with an emergency uh, button to call for help um, at the Southwick track. Um, so, so far we've raised, I don't know, $290. Um, the whole system is $7,500, so we have a ways to go. but. Um, we're doing a car wash this weekend, and then we're going to have a um, fun run for cardiac health um, in June uh, to raise money for this program. Um, so yeah, and then this is uh, a picture of the, um, the pole that would be put in at the track, um, and it has an AED casing in it, so um, yeah. How will that work? Does that... Is there ongoing maintenance with that, that it's going to call the police department or the dispatch or something like that if um, someone pushes the button? Yeah, it, um, depending on how you set it up, it could either go, um, like, work the same way as a cell phone, that it goes to a regional, and then you have to, like, say, like, oh, Southwick Police Department, or it can go right to the Southwick Police Department, um, and you just push the button for help, and then it calls them right away, and the light starts flashing. Um, and then uh, the police department will be notified, and then they can be on their way, depending on what the emergency is. Even if it's for Carl. Yeah. Well, I think. <laughs> wait a minute. No, wait, nobody's going to call. <laughs> the gentleman down the end of the table is going on that. <laughs> so you can't order a pizza from it. You can't hit the button. No. no. It's not an easy button. Not easy. No. <laughs> All the little kids can't go around and hit the button while they're waiting for their sister to run track or anything. And how do we, how is it powered? People. Is it solar or do we have to run power to it? Um, yeah, you do have to run power to it, but um, it's. Uh, the installation is included in the fees for the um, for the whole thing, so the seventy five hundred dollars uh, covers that too. You've done your you homework. Sure? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're familiar with when the town guys they get involved, right? Seventy five hundred <laughs> is nothing. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the right. positive. By the time that's they the, get that's the design work. <laughs> Excellent. And there already is power nearby or wherever you need it to get it to. Uh, yeah, they said they could run it um, like through the school. Um, or they would have to like look at the site first and then determine how they would um, power it. But uh, they said it would be able to work. So, but in writing, there seventy five hundred. That thing is going to turn on for you. Yes. <laughs> it's in writing. Yeah. That's without okay. the AED. The yeah. AED is on top of that, which we've gotten a donation from Kev's Foundation 
secured already for the AED. Oh, oh excellent. excellent. So the 7500 okay. is to install the pole <laughs> and everything else, the AED is yes. on top. Correct. Oh, and how wow. much is the AED if we were to have to go buy one? Grand. They've gotten a lot less expensive. That's great. Well, because the pole went up. Well, yeah, apparently. <laughs> well, part of this is because um, there's a new law coming out July 1st. Of course. That any sports event has to have an AED present. Any field trip has to have an AED present. So if they are to take a walk, they have to take an AED with them and someone who knows how to use it. So that's coming July 1st. Wow. Um, mm. Part of this stemmed from um, the incident that we had at the school last year where we had to resuscitate a teacher. Yep. And it generated enough of an interest for the students to want to do this. This is their thing. Right. And um, it's quite the endeavor. I, I think we'll do it. it. So far, we've done a letter campaign. Um, which we've gotten a couple of responses to, but you're going to come get your car wash on Saturday. <laughs> yeah. And where is the said car wash? At the Village Plaza. Okay. Mm -hmm. Arden, what do you have to say for yourself? Um, this is going to be great, and we're going to do it, and yeah, it's going to save lives. It's great, for, especially for around a youth ball field. Yeah. yeah. And right around the track, which is open to the public all yep. the time. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea. <laughs> oh, typical fox, right? That's <laughs> 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 a beautiful idea. Yeah, it's cool. Whoa. <laughs> he whiz. And like the nurse said, I think the experience at school last year really did open our eyes to want to make a change. So I think this is going to be perfect. And it's going to allow the public to. That it's just to keep everyone safe and alert that, you know, everyone's, the town's there to protect you, so. Cool. Any additional commentary that we need on this? The chief is here. Just a quick question. Future chief. How is the AD going to be secured? Um, there's a casing, and I believe it can only be open when you press the, the button to um, call for help. Right. Correct. It's connected with the police. Okay. I'm just picturing someone. Right. Making yes. a bad mistake and pushing it and it disappears yeah. on no. the definitely not. Yeah. You know, that could be an issue. Yeah. I don't know if our schools have cameras or something maybe pointed That's that way. Yeah. Might be an option. A little more money to put a camera in. <laughs> Other than I think it's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great idea, and especially around you know the track and with the youth sports, because yeah. young people, you know, you've seen it. I know um, I had talked to the folks at the rec center when they put that one in couple of years ago you know unfortunately it's a lot of times it's younger people they get thumped in the chest with a helmet or a ball or something like that the AED will absolutely do its best work there you know if it's an older person having a, a, a heart attack you know not as effective still very useful but maybe not the most effective but that's when these things you know yeah. earn their keep yeah. so it's, there to protect you, so. it's, <coughs> it's an awesome idea why is it not as effective when someone is having a heart attack versus someone just getting hit with a ball? It's just an age difference, I think, is often referencing. Oh, okay. Some wives where's, where's may the not want their husbands the fire, to come back. Fire right chief away. was here a minute ago. Did he leave? No, yeah. he's right no. Oh, well. Do we have a nurse in the yeah, office? Oh, help we have a nurse. He okay. can help me, but it's <laughs> also... It, it all depends upon what the issue is. Right. So, but if, if you take a, you know, a, a baseball or basketball or whatever to the chest and, and it disturbs the electrical rhythm of your heart, yeah. that's exactly what the AED does with that shock and restores that rhythm to your heart. Versus if you have an underlying medical condition that causes a heart attack, like a blocked artery or something like that, it's not as useful. It's still a good tool to have, absolutely, and it can be, the, you know, a big help, but especially with youth, they're inordinately effective. So it's a great idea. Well, that's why when I got your letter <laughs> as a business owner in the town, I brought it to the board because I thought this would be a great opportunity to publicize this and uh, make sure our police department is involved and the board of selectmen is involved. I know you already got the school involved, but I think it's a great thing. You guys should be commended. Uh, Thank you. This is a great thing to do, and you're sending out a good message. And I'd like to back up that message a little bit. I'd like to make a motion, a donation of $1,000 from our gift account to go towards this. I'll second that motion. I have a motion made and seconded 
did we want to challenge somebody I, with this? I think this if, this, if this passes, I'd like to send out a challenge to uh, Granville and Tallinn. Uh, I mean, they are part of the school region, and uh, I mean, Southwick, uh, that track is used by the students, and also it's open to the public, and I've, I've seen people from Granville and Tallinn around, okay. so uh, I'd like to send out a little challenge letter to them to see uh, if they would be interested in contributing, and uh, also encourage uh, private citizens <clears throat> to uh, come forward with donations, too. Let's let's get this thing done. I think I, somebody said it was going to take a couple of years. Maybe we could do it even quicker. Yeah. You know, like you said, who's let's a save senior? lives. Who's a senior? She's the only, I'm senior. The only senior. <laughs> so the pressure's on. <laughs> 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 pressure's on. So we have a. Sorry. Go ahead. We have a motion made and seconded for a thousand dollar donation from the Selectman's gift account. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 So that'll help you guys along. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So when it comes out on the paper, we'll cut that out, send it to Granville, That's and ask right. the right. board to select their select board meeting. Correct. And they exactly have a brand. What you do. They, they got to embarrass them. Yep. <laughs> Don't do that. They were That's invited, right. but neither answered. What's that? They were invited. They have a new select person up there too. Correct. Yep. There you go. So there you go. You're on your Perfect. way. <laughs> and that's great that you got the AED itself donated. That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. that is awesome. And that's going to be a great thing for the town. Thank you guys for doing all that work. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin, Thank you, you want to keep in touch with them and keep We're working on that? We oh. definitely want a police association to get a letter from you guys to make a request to our police association and see if we can do something for you also. So and see the general, see the fire chief too about the fire association too. Just say yes. Just say yes. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> with the company. <laughs> Great job. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 545 Police Department Health Agent Reinforcement Age for Vape Shops. Mr. Fitzgerald. Are you waiting for someone or you're all set? You ready to go? Kevin, yeah, I was, yeah, I was Kevin asked to come in to represent the Kevin, police. you're up. No, sir. No, I'm not. Come on, right now. <laughs> you are now, no, Lieutenant. I have no idea what we're talking about. Vape shop. Yeah, you will. Come on. Yeah, Come on up. Yeah, we're. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't told to be here. <laughs> That's right. all right. Good thing you're here. I guess. As long as I'm prepared. So I had um, had a couple of calls and messages from folks regarding um, some of the establishments in town and perhaps the, the um, some of the age enforcement in those shops had been lax of late perhaps um, and I had reached out to Mr. Fitzgerald who immediately responded back to me and um, they were going to look into it and then there was some discussion back and forth um, regarding some compliance checks that normally were done that are not being as as um, Frequently done due to some budgetary concern. Am I right so far? Yes. Okay, thank you. You're yeah. looking at me. I'm making yeah. sure I'm getting yeah. this right. Yeah. And um, so I wanted Mr. Fitzgerald to come in and see and just kind of talk about this and what we're doing about uh, you know tobacco age enforcement and especially in the vape shops because they they follow similar rules, correct? As far as what they're supposed to do. <coughs> sure, we have regulations that they're enforceable regulations if they are caught in selling to minors under 21. Very nicotine delivery product, including e-cigarettes, but th that that would entail a sting operation, very much like they do with the Alcohol Control Commission. Exact same analogy. It, it, you can't do it by someone calling up and saying, I, "Someone sold to my nephew, niece, son, and daughter." Okay, you have to ha you have to go out and do that. And that enforcement action is usually a third party and with a, a youth, someone under 21, goes out. Right, paperwork, and you know, there's paperwork that has to be has to be done before, during, and afterwards to make sure it's uh, complete. So in case it has to go to court, which it could, because there's fines involved, then that that would be the next step is to uh, have this done with with a variety of our uh, 
vendors in town right now, which we about we have about eight, and it fluctuates. Mm -hmm. who's, who's selling nicotine delivery products? But the good news is, as a matter of fact, just tonight I got an email from, uh, as I might have told you in, a, uh, in our previous email that we had applied. We mean five towns: in East Long Meadow, Long Meadow, Aguam, West Springfield. Ludlow have applied, have applied for a grant, a regional grant, which was pretty customary several years ago, but they, they, there was monies that was um, first uh, utilized for tobacco control, but then it was kind of watered down over the years. So it wasn't, you know, we didn't have the money, um, state and the money to, to pass on to municipalities, you know, 351 of them. And so there's a lot of money that uh, was not being uh, utilized for tobacco control. It was used for other purposes, sidelined. Anyway, they're redoubling their efforts to come back and do that. We, even though we missed the grant, uh, this round of grant, we've been invited to, to go back with another round. We got uh, told we weren't going to make it in December. This uh, spring, they're inviting us, this, our group, as well as we were going to partner with uh, South Hadley and their people. I think they're Northampton, South Ham Southampton, I believe, um, and a couple other towns up in that area, Hampshire-based. And the, the, the thinking is that the combination of both of uh, uh, the municipalities from the both uh, counties would improve our, our chances of getting this uh, grant this year, which would go in large measure to enforcement, but not only enforcement, age appropriate um, education, uh, language appropriate education and culture and appropriate education. So we're hopeful that would actually that would, that would fund tobacco control efforts and the, the sting efforts that we were talking about. So possibly by July 1 we'll hear that. We'll hear if we're going to be notified because we're going to roll over the original uh, application because most of it, most of the late work's already been done for the application. And what kind of money are you talking about? you know, what's the grant? Uh, well, since we're combining it now, I think it's going to be different. I think the original was 10000 for us, but since that's off the table now, when we can combine it, I don't know what they're going to do. Since there's more towns, it's going to be, have to be a higher number. So mm -hmm. we're, going to, we're going to partner, so it, I, I can get that information. But the RFP is not even out yet, but they're, they're inviting us to, uh, to, to um, reapply. So we, have, we actually don't have a number for it right now, but I would, I would, I would guess it would be the 10000 to 20000 range. Is this Department of Public Health on Yes, uh, mass, uh, mass tobacco control. Yeah. So, great. That's I mean, good news. Like I said, we've heard from yeah. a few parents, um, and w during our meetings at the schools last year, this is also a topic of concern for the administration at the school as well. Mm -hmm. It's a continuing, continuing issue with with the vape pens and absolutely not just. Um, and, and not just it's nicotine, nicotine in those vape pens, but yep. other so mm -hmm. nefarious substances yes. as well. Right. But yep. So anything that we can do, so. I'll keep you posted on that. And, Excellent. Uh, uh, I'm sorry to interject. Um, where did you say and why wasn't the application on time? Or what well, were the delays for? It, was it was on time, it just wasn't approved. Oh, okay. The original one. There's a lot of competing interests from the 351 communities in Massachusetts, so we, we, we weren't successful. What exactly were you applying for? The things I mentioned, the um, tobacco control, uh, sting operations, as well as uh, education information. And what do the sting operations do? do we would take a, that? We'd have a volunteer or possibly uh, yeah. someone who might receive a stipend yeah. or something. Right. At least the, the person grant. controlling it, the volunteer, yeah. isn't it? As, uh, We'd send a person in who's under 21 years of age to go into one of our local uh, businesses that sell cigarettes. And we would check their IDs, make sure they're under that age first. They win, they purchase the cigarettes, they come right out to us at that point in time. And then ourselves and a uh, Board of Health agent could go right back into the business and either give them a verbal warning at that time or uh, give them a citation at that point in time for selling to someone under 21 years of age. That would be the sting operation. And what is the education going towards? Uh, the hazards of, of nicotine. So the high school or? All over. Yeah. Any age, age appropriate, culture appropriate, yeah. I think before yeah. they use some of the money right. for putting up posters in the businesses also. Yeah, and certainly. To you know, educate certain, the business yeah. owners themselves to make sure that they understand right. the law, they're not supposed to be selling. And certainly targeted to schools yeah. as well. Right. 
finally, if you are granted the application, mm -hmm. which I'm not sure why they would deny it to you. Oh, it has to do with money. Just money. There's just so much money and so many people are asking for it. Okay. When would you implement it by? Well, oh. granted. Sometime as soon as we get first. the money, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we would yeah. jump we, on. We would sit together yeah. as a board and we would discuss when would be the best time for us to do that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, well, ma'am. Questions, comments? Well, once again, as it warms up, I know last year we had the officers do a little walking down the center of town mm -hmm. to some of those establishments, and that seemed to improve a little bit when they walked in and said hello, and mm -hmm. the kids would scatter if they were in there. Mm -hmm. um, we can, you know, yeah. And really, the, again, the emphasis is really on the business owner. It is, again, yeah, they, if the right, kid gets yeah. caught with a cigarette yeah. after he leaves there or he's right. in the corner, nothing can do with him. Right. We have to get the business yeah. owner that's actually selling it to them. But yeah, always a but talk. But they seem to understand when they see you guys pull up and walk yeah. in that, mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. They're here mm -hmm. for a reason, not just free coffee. Yep. Yeah, wasn't yeah. a free coffee. <laughs> 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 I thought that was a joke. <laughs> Sorry, that was a joke. That's a, <laughs> <laughs> that's a DPW normal yeah. joke, not a normal <laughs> joke. And the F yeah, I should say, the FDA also does stinks compliance checks is the euphemism yeah. for stinks. Um, and they have been in, in Southwick over the years, but as you can guess, you know they're doing it nationally, so they don't have the resources. <clears throat> we would have that at the local and the state level, at least in theory. No, I, I think we all agree. Comments? You know, anything we can do Thank to uh, make things safe. You know, tighten it up a little bit. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Fitzgerald. We have to educate. Okay, uh, someone, were, a new guy, Dave Sutton, <laughs> one call away in Southwick Historical Commission regarding library status. Which chair is the sinker? Uh, None of them. We, fi we fixed them all. You yeah. fixed, yeah. fixed them all? I'm, I'm over, over here at the protection side over Tom. Get a comfortable chair, Lee. <laughs> Hi. How are you, Mr. Sutton? Great. How's everybody doing today? Very well. The floor is yours. Things are going well. Things are going well. I'm being recorded, so I better behave myself. Yeah. <laughs> somebody left their phone on. Not easy. That's not easy. From the paper. The floor is yours, sir. Oh, okay. Um, I thought you guys wanted to ask me some questions. All right. Um, I'm, I'm looking to, uh, to, to uh, get the library. The, uh, my foundation, the One Call Away Foundation, Inc., um, has a very high interest in the building because of, A, its location, B, it's a beautiful building, and it fits our needs to a T without needing to have anything done to it. Um, we're looking to, to develop a Veterans <coughs> Resource Center. What I mean by that is it'd be a building. You understand a quick little synopsis of, of what we are. We're not only are we a um, post-traumatic stress disorder awareness, but we also have a PTSD network, and we're also suicide intervention officers. And um, part of the network is bringing a lot of the small organizations that are doing really good works, honest works, and bringing them in into one location. So if a, if a veteran is having a situation, regardless of what it is, it's more or less like a one-stop shopping center. They come in, and because the building already has these gorgeous uh, book racks, and those are just going to be stacked and, and filled with uh, information from different organizations. Now, some of those organizations are Clear Path New England, which is a, a, uh, a peer support group, a counseling group, and uh, they have all kinds of other things that go along with it, but they have on-site counselors, and they want to actually put somebody in the building uh, probably a few times a month for on-site consultations. And uh, so that's going to happen. Um, Home base, and the, the uh, Boston Red Sox Foundation wants to come in and, and uh, take part in the network also. The Massachusetts Military Support Foundation and uh, um, New England Adventures, uh, the Vet Center, the Vet Center in, West, in uh, West Springfield wants to come out and set up and, and hold um, post 9 11 uh, military support meetings. Uh, so, this is it, it's, it's pretty much just a, a big meeting house, is what it's going to be. And the, the building is already set up for that, it's got one big great room. And, it, and, it, and it's perfect. And as far as the, the, we looked over, I had come and I got the information on the building, and I brought it to attention to a former uh, member of uh, TILCON, uh, 
excuse me, the organization Tie and Bond that did the, the, the uh, overall in the building. And we sat at my kitchen table and page by page went through every single situation that's going on with that building and come up with a resolution to take care of it without changing the structure or destroying or changing anything. We also have an organization known as uh, Team Rubicon. They're in a veterans organization that does construction projects. They're going to come in and under the guidance of uh, Rob Levesque, uh, Levesque Associates are going to draw us up a set of plans to install a ramp. Um, in the best way, we're going to get together hopefully with the uh, Historical Commission to find out the best way to do this and to have the best look and uh, to install a ramp so it's handicap accessible. And uh, same thing with the bathroom. We have plans in place already to make sure the bathroom meets ADA requirements. And uh, we have countless volunteers all set to take care of the painting issues. It's, everything's going to be the same color, stay in the same shape. We don't want to change anything. I have a good friend of mine, Steve Ferrari, who's a very high-end carpenter, and he's going to come in as soon as I get the okay and start looking over all the different pieces of the wood that are starting to separate and starting to come off the building and make sure they get properly attached back on. Um, and there any holes that are there, there's a lot of holes in it right now that need to be fixed. We're going to fix all those. We're going to, we'll take good care of the building for you. We just need you to, to, to let us have it. Uh, that's, I could probably keep going on, what, what, but they're already, already got the gavel out. What kind of numbers of uh, people do you think will be there in attendance at any, at the most at any one given time? Uh, that's, that's a hard number to determine. It could be a couple at a time. It could be one-on-one -on -one peer support. It could be one-on-one -on -one group. It could be three or four. But I've, I've, I've entered into an agreement with, with the owner of the parking lot next door that we would have plenty of overflow parking. With, assuming the yeah. south again, I presume right. you're talking about. Yeah. 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 He's, uh, he's, he's 100 percent on board with what we want to do there. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's willing to put that into writing also. Yeah. That's, a, that's one of the, been the key restrictions to offering this up to for general sale is that we know that it's not going to be able to support a lot of traffic. You know, so if you're talking about meetings, if you're looking to have 15 people or 20 people in a meeting, then that might be somewhat of a problem. Right. Uh, but, you know, talking on smaller numbers where you're limited in mm -hmm. fewer number of cars, certainly that should be able to be accommodated. Most, most of the stuff that goes on during the day would be in and out traffic. People coming by, finding out resources available, getting what they need and going on. And then going from there. Any evening type of activities? That would yeah, be there'll going be some on? evening stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably nothing later than eight or nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. Who would actually be manning this? Any, the would one call away. Your hours. Or? The one call away foundation. We'll, be, we'll have we'll have somebody there. Hours are still to be set and arranged. We still have a lot of work to do on the building before we can fine tune all those things. Yeah, and there is some significant yes. you know, remediation that has to be done there before it can be <coughs> inhabited. Yes, we, we, like I said, we brought, we brought a guy in from Tie and Bond, and he mm -hmm. went over and told us exactly what we need to do to satisfy every need. What was his budget estimates? Because uh, ours were well over six figures. Yeah, ours wasn't. Mostly, 99% most, of it is all containment. Nothing, there's no remediation work that needs to be done. And so we've got all that stuff in place with the, with the, with the proper painting processes, floor coverings, and uh, the, only, the only biggie that really needs to be needed is the adding of the ramp and the, to make it ADA accessible. That needs a furnace. It's good, whoever furnace? goes in has got to remove <laughs> the old furnace. Um, they got to remove uh, the old furnace. Sutton Heating and Air Conditioning will it take care of that. <laughs> it needs a new bathroom. <laughs> I've already got three supply houses waiting to donate any any pieces of of, of uh, sinks and toilets I got to replace. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get a hold of the plumbing inspector, and then once I get a key, I can get the plumbing inspector in there, and he can give me exact what you know. This is what I want you to do, kind of a, a tour. Well, that would happen once town meeting authorizes to sell it. All right. And if the town now, the thing is, is that if if it goes to a town meeting, it may become out of our price range, and then. Well, it's got to go to a town meeting. Yeah. You can't get around that. Yeah, because I mean, it's a, the warrant's already been issued. Well, no, so we're we'll back way up. So for over a year, it sat there for lease. And you should have stopped and looked to the right then and called that number. Because we wouldn't be here today <laughs> it, worrying about going for sale. At that point in the process, I, we weren't ready to do that. I know, but the week before. 
I, I know. Well, yeah. I, 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 it's the value of the real estate in the, in the building so itself. It, it pushes it over the legal limit, so it has to. Mm -hmm. It has to go. It has to go through a procurement process. Can, can it, can it go back to being to, to being the, the, the lease deal that you had talked about before? Well, I think after we have the other vote in place, at least the selectmen could make up their mind which option they want to do. But town meeting only meets once a year, so it makes sense to have the vote to sell. Mm -hmm. Having the, the vote to sell, sell it doesn't sure. mean that we couldn't no. go back. Right. And, that is and right. not correct. Right. You are correct. 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 Yes. It's still yeah. both. Now they're both permissive. viable. Right. right. Yeah, the, the, the well, building already went for sale year. once, and right. there was there was right. nobody right now looked we're at. Right paying insurance to, you know, for vacant buildings. We right. don't we don't know that anybody's going to come out of the woodwork to buy it once they understand. Still the same situation. What's involved, right? right. Just in the way that the couple of people that looked at leasing it didn't chose not to make a, a proposal once they saw what mm -hmm. they felt was involved to right. to make the building usable and with the constraints that it has. But going to town meeting at this juncture is the right thing to do. And it gives the the select board the option to have both. So the the the, the Warren article that's pending would give the board of selectmen the ability to sell the building, but it doesn't rescind the right of the board of selectmen to lease the building. So it, it really just gives one more avenue to look at you know who may be interested in the facility, and that, you know we owe it to the townspeople obviously to try to get you know the highest best use from the facility too. Use, not mm -hmm. not just money, but use from the facility. So w it'll put us in a position where we can look at all of those. So, um, well, you know, what we can bring to the table, offer to the town, is, is is having a great resource for a big need, and especially we have a lot of veterans in this area that are unserviced. Our service it. officer operates out of Agawam. But that's and the system could, that's in play. I, yeah, you know, oh, oh, I know. So we're talking David, with him, David, he's here every month. Yeah, he has office hours. Oh yeah, well, I, I know. I'm, I'm on the board of directors of that. But he said he'd be willing to come over and operate out of here, which gives him right a lot we, more we access. Gotta to make sure that we characterize their operation properly because they right. are the legally required entity yes. that serves the town. No other entity. They are the legal. Yeah, but he, to give him to give him a nice a, a resource center says not only does he have a place where veterans are going to be coming to 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 go to, right. but he has access to all the information we have there that he can use for the guys that he's dealing with. And I do that with a lot of veteran service offices all around this area. So, you know, I, I work very close with a lot of service offices throughout Massachusetts. And, and they have a limited amount of resources that they get to from the VA. But on top of that, with all us nonprofits all lined up, these are all stuff that we can make available to them if they know about it. I, I think, David, there's two issues here. One is the One Call Away Foundation which is a great thing. It's a nonprofit, and what you're trying to accomplish is, is a great thing. The other issue is a real estate issue, okay? And I, we got to make sure that we, we, we have to look at it reasonably. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, when you and I talk several times, and that's why I suggested to the chairman that we all get together, number one, I think uh, the board's absolutely correct. We should have the option of selling the property along with the option of leasing the property, okay? So that, that gives us that latitude that we need to make an intelligent real estate decision. And, Can I ask and, for and, clarification? If, so we go to town meeting and we get approved to be able to sell the parcel. Right. Do we have to go back to town meeting with a dollar value if should we ever get someone or we're, we're just authorized to sell? We're, I believe we're done, right? I think we'd be done if okay. we're authorized. Right. I, didn't, I don't know how that yeah. worked. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, continue. I mean, obviously, you'd want to make sure you're doing something in the public's best interest. No, I, yeah, yeah. Right. Recognize I just the value of what the buildings right. were. Right. No, but I think we all agree. I don't think anybody here disagrees with one call away. No, no. You know, right. we, we, Not at all. It, I appreciate it. I mean, we all support yeah. that. It's, it's a great thing. But, you know, let me play devil's advocate for a minute here. You know, when you and I talked, we talked about how Springfield had a a building, and nobody was coming to it. Right. Okay. And they eventually. Well, that would that wasn't a veterans resource center. That was strictly for for first responders. Okay. And and first responders have had a little bit of difficulty with with uh, being seen there. Okay. And there was a few people that. And, and that's what I'm leading to. You you were talking about people right. being seen yet. That's this not, is right not, in the it's, center. It's of not like that the for Thomas the veteran Alfred. community. Okay. That's it's a little bit different. But but I thought we were also talking about first responders when we. Oh yeah, it's okay. going to be part of the programs that are going to be offered out of the building. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. 
Because you know, I, you know, I'm just looking at, you know, when we got the figures of this, was it in excess of three hundred thousand to bring it into compliance? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, because of yeah, asbestos we were doing it as and prevailing oh, wage. Absolutely. Yeah, you guys don't have the, you, okay. you don't have the. And, and whoever else, you guys, are whether somebody else leases it or buys it, they're still going to have to incur quite a bit of money. Yes. And they may not be aware of all these things they're going to have to do. So what we want to do is that would all be in a lease document or an RP or whatever the lawyer puts together because the historical commission has already put a lot of work into this and they put in work in, in terms of the um, historic preservation issues that are going to have to be maintained. So all of that is going to have to be addressed and, and there's generally always a little bit more money involved when you do a project that has a historical component to it and when the, the government gets involved in it then that costs more also. But we, we have to do something with this property. It's well, we sitting don't, there we don't want the government involved in it because I do a lot of business for the government also right. as far as my business goes. Okay. And, and I can tell you that it's not, it's not honest. I'll just point blank tell you. Um, I've done jobs and, and don't regret doing it the way that I did it. I probably could have made a heck of a lot more money, but it wasn't the right thing to do. So probably one of our bigger issues is I think our our thought process was if we had leased it, we'd get it back on the tax rolls. If we sold it, we'd get it back on the tax rolls. You won't be paying taxes as a nonprofit, right? right? What, what's, what's, what's... I mean, what, I'm just, yeah. this is, as he says, devil's advocate, I'm just telling you God's honest truth. Your name wasn't brought up two years ago, right? It no. shouldn't have been. So we're, as a board, we're saying, oh, we'll get it back on the tax rolls, we'll get something out of that poor property from sitting there forever. So now looking at a nonprofit, I get it. But that's going to be another part of the, I guess if there is an issue, if someone wants to complain or bitch, and they do, David, you um, know that, they yep. do, that would be another piece that they'll bring up what, is now. What's, what's this rated tax? I, I have no idea. What's it worth? <laughs> I don't know. What's it worth? Grand, 40 grand? Grand? You, you on a good day? I think <laughs> the valuation was like 235. No yeah, way. Yeah, it was in, how about 119? You got the review, David, the there whole you go. So the whole lease package. Yeah, 119. Right. It was but 119 on the on the best day if the building was pristine. And it's not. Right. And it's and, probably and worth about and, 20. And I'm just saying that's part of this whole bigger right. package too. Is okay, great. Now it won't be on the tax bill. Not that 100 grand is going to break the yeah. Bank of Southwick again. I get it. He can wait another year for that ladder truck. But it is. Oh, what it is, you know. oh that's not fair. <laughs> It'll cost hundred more. Yeah, right, exactly. It will. And, and then flip that on its head. I, mean, I am not dying in 911 now. No. <laughs> Get a bigger hose. Yeah, but to flip that on its head, yeah. the other side of the coin is that building is costing us $13,000 a year, give Every or take. Year. Mm -hmm. Okay, between snow plowing, electricity, the vacant building insurance, yes. um, what right. else? Alarm, Landscape. yada, yada, yada. How many years right. has it been empty now? Too many. Is there a, is there a Since the 90s. Early Just, 90s. Yeah. That's a long it time. Is, right. right. Oh. And I don't want to see it empty. I'm not, I know, I we, want it, uh, we want to do something right. with that building, no doubt. Right. Right. The, we're we're just trying to have a frank conversation <laughs> yeah. Yeah. to make sure that nobody goes into this thing blind. Correct. Right. But if we have all our options on the table after the town meeting, then we can sit down and then we can realistically look at what it's actually going to cost. Because God bless you with your volunteers. They might not meet the criteria that the historical commission wants, or, or the state board, planning board, our state access board, yeah. is is probably going to be hey, the most. Hey, who built that library we have? Volunteers? Yeah. Well, well I had to go there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, let's not bring up that one. All right. Let's not bring well, up that one. Anyway, so. You know. Uh, we're, we're just so we want to make sure guys, that. Have you? You know, these guys are still working on the final documents too, right? The preservation uh, gave, piece. Uh, no, so yeah, no, he get, we, no, we've given it to Benjamin. The, Good. The input so for the town yeah. meeting, so to understand the scope of what's involved on the preservation side too. So and I said, I, I'm glad we, we're having this meeting so that we can get everything out as you to know, what everyone's doing. I also get. understand that the, 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 uh, the, the historical commission wants to have that building so it, it, it's pristine, but you can also going to put so many stipulations on it's going right. to fall to the ground before exactly. you get this and, and we're not saying it has to be pristine. We want to see the exterior be kept oh, yeah. intact. That, under the sale yeah, that building is beautiful. Right. That's under just the, the way we want it. Under the sales approach, naturally to entice somebody to come in and 
buy it and set up offices in there, we know the interior is going to require some modification, but there are certain aspects of the interior that we do want to see preserved. And we've got that written down, and we can, I'd be happy to give you a copy of our you know, preliminary yeah, thoughts Take there. me over there, walk me through it, and, and show me. That's sure. a better way. And also, you know, the, the Historical Commission has been an absolute partner in this endeavor for the last two years, right, right that we've been working to get to where we are, right? Mm -hmm. It's not been a, an adversarial type of thing. It's been a, a very, they've been a, a very big partner in trying, they're in favor of doing something with this facility. They're in fa and, and they're realists as to what can and can't be done yeah. over there. Oh, yeah. And I, I believe that the documentation that they're providing of what they want to see preserved wasn't that is bad. reasonable. Yeah. Right, okay. is reasonable. And some of the remediation is not historical, you know, whether it's encapsulation or remediation. That's, you know, I ran out of talent five minutes ago, but that's, <laughs> that's, not really their purview. That's more of a building code and yeah. you know health and safety yeah. thing, right? But from the historical side, you know, they're absolutely in favor of putting this building to use, um, and so they've been realistic in their approach, and we and we very much appreciate. Yeah, it. they could have gone way bad. We appreciate right. your and it, it has, has in the past. It has in the past. <laughs> we appreciate right. your guidance. And you guys have really no, no, no absolutely, no, yeah, no right. doubt. But it, but the, you've got to make sure that distinction. You know, when we were talking about leasing it for a low amount. It was to restore the building right. exterior, interior also, right? And bring it into ADA compliance, take oh. care of the furnace, meet all the codes and fire. We're still, right. still, still going to be doing but, all that. But yeah. if a purchase, you know, is it, the town really is no longer has any a purchase expense. Purchase less restrictions. Right. So it's... Uh, but there's still, there's still going to be a, a preservation restriction with the building even <coughs> if you sell it, as right, far right. as the uh, you know the outside and yep. certain aspects of the interior as well that they would like to see right. preserved. Okay. But it, it is going to be different because obviously if we own it, we have some responsibility to it as if we're the if we're the lessee, right. lessor. But but if we have both options on the table, let's let's say, all right, we work out an agreement after the town meeting, and. You go to town and you, you, you meet all, all the zoning, you meet all the compliance and everything, and it doesn't work out. I mean, you just don't get the numbers, you know, and it's, it becomes a, you know, an albatross because you're, you're draining all your money on, on heating, electricity, phones, computers, things like that, uh, where you get to the point where you just say, you know, maybe we could use another building that uh, is donated you know, and it doesn't have a charge. Or there's a, a room at uh, the town hall that you could use where you don't have those expense, you know. Again, I'm, I'm just trying to make sure we're looking at everything, mm -hmm. David, you know. Again, I want to see one call away succeed. I don't want to see it not succeed because it runs out of money uh, trying to uh, take on a project that might might be a little bigger than you think. I understand your point. Thank you. Okay. Further discussion? May I ask a question? Um, could you state your name again? David Sutton. Education. Who are you? You're going to have to Archimedia. educate her. Pardon? Archimedia. Take it in all air. No, right I now. I don't hear very well. Huh? You've got to do it right now, oh, okay. unfortunately. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Um, I had a question for the board. Can, um, can we get that at the end of the meeting when we're done? Yeah, the protocol, the protocol is not during the meeting. Isn't there like a public? We usually have public comment at the front of the meeting, and we'd be glad to stay after, but we have to try to stick to our agenda. See, right. it's a public meeting, right. but it's our meeting. Um, we don't even have to allow you to speak. The chairman's been very courteous because you're new, <laughs> uh, but, but, but now I guess he's suggesting you can't do what you're doing. <laughs> you know, that's why the other reporters meet people out in the hallway after they leave and get the information. I didn't realize. I thought it was just right, a right. That's but we're usually very accommodating and we're doing our best, but we, we, we do got to try to keep to a schedule. Right, because we have other people waiting. And we want to get home, too. <laughs> <laughs> My five Thank minutes you. of fame is over. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. okay. Thank you. David, thank you for what you're doing. Oh, it is absolutely. a great endeavor. It's not me. It's, uh, it's this.
contact us too. Sure. They put up really, really good rates. Okay. The volunteers. Oh, we're only 15 minutes behind. Starbucks. Wow. Okay. Right? Warm and warm. Okay. Warm and warm. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it very much. All right, Thank you, David. David. Thank you, gentlemen. Nice. Yeah. David. Good job. I like it. I I'll tell it. And I apologize. <laughs> okay. Uh, we need to acknowledge pay payables warrant 1825B dated 423 in the amount of $299,093.56. We have our regular session minutes of April the 19th. Make a motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And did we have executive session on 419? <laughs> Make a motion to approve executive session April 19th. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, I have a letter here from Chief David A. Riccardi. Uh, he has he's asking us to accept a $25 donation from <coughs> Ms. Luis Alberti. I need a motion to accept. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Next item is a letter from Troy Henke, Chairman of VFW Post 872, uh, making us aware that the foyer dedication ceremony at the Southwick School is May 21st at 9 a.m. And he's also requesting that we recognize Marie Alamed and Elaine Achenbach. Um, but he's also asking... Cindy, can you get that stuff? to create those? Oh, yeah. And then um, he's asking who's going to be attending on May 21st at right. 9 from this board and Carl. So I'll have to check my calendar. I believe I should be yeah, we can, okay. We can keep Let's it. Yep. It's a little keep closer. It yep. Yeah. The next is a one-day liquor license for Westfield Bank. This is June the 13th. Uh, 5 to 9 p.m. This is their little outdoor customer thing they do every year. Yep. Yeah, they're part of the year. <laughs> She's already met with... I think it's a chamber of commerce, isn't it? It's yeah, a, it is. It's, it's a, a chamber. chamber. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, She's already met with Detective Sergeant Landis and has his blessings, so... Okay. We need a motion for a motion this. For Westfield Bank. And um, to waive the officer. 613 for from 5 to 9 p.m. and a waiving of the officer for duty. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Next is a vote to extend Mass DCS North Pond grant agreement to 63019. <coughs> so this is a contract uh, extension. Yep, it's for the $400,000 North Pond Division of Conservation Services grant. So they're still trying to uh, finish putting together the financing plan for that last remainder of the money to get to the, uh, the amount that the owner's looking for. So this will <coughs> accommodate the grant being extended. This grant being extended. Yes. yes. Okay. So this four hundred grand we may or may not get depending on if we get all the money. Correct? Well Correct. you have the money. To to keep the money you have to extend the grant. Gotcha. I'll make a motion to extend the grant. Second. We need a motion for the chair to sign. Make a motion for the chair to sign the grant. Second. All in favor. Aye. Uh. Right.
uh, next is a letter from Chief Russ Anderson uh, regarding the deputy chief position. He's got nine applications, and he would like to consider six, um, and he would like to hold and use it, an independent assessment center. And the anticipated cost for the assessment center ranges from $3,500 to $7,000, depending on the vendor. And he's looking for our approval to organize this step in coordination with the CAO. Where would the money be coming from, Carl? Uh, the chief has identified some other funds in his budget under his uh, consulting and hired services. So, and this would really help him facilitate the process and keep it independent. know uh, how much it's going to cost for us Did they tell us ahead of time or yeah I mean the, that's fine the um, there's two different well, I'm waiting for a third uh, vendor through MMA yeah um, but the, the range they all work a little differently um, some of them are completely closed door independent and can do the results some are you can get the witness um, so you, know, you get you get you get what you pay for so to speak and what we want to do um, but the next step for me would be to move forward with that to make a recipe that would work for all of us with discussions with Carl and how we actually do it. Um, so what, what that would do is score people on ability to handle a fire, ability to interact with employees. Um, to me, it's, it's going to be crucial that this person fits the mold the right way to build, build the teamwork and, and, and things like that as we move to ALS. A simple interview process kind of falls down on that. I think it's hard to tell from you know five questions, six questions. We'll still have that. We'll still have a panel review board, and we'll still have your review board. But it's hard to know how someone's going to discipline somebody. It's hard to know how someone's going to run a fire scene or an EMS scene without actually doing a simulation of that. So that's what this would do: give us those scores, their strengths and weaknesses for everybody, and then they move through the process, kind of knowing. Kind of like a resume, you know, some have this, some have this. Yep. So. Mm -hmm. Like an in basket exercise. Mm -hmm. See how the person You envision it basically the same as what we did for the fire chief position. We had interviewed the final three candidates. Is that yeah. what Oh, yeah, about? definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, your level, yeah. This right. is to get to that level. So, right. how many do you have applicants? Six, seven? Yeah. yeah I know another one came in today. I didn't even look at it yet, but it was nine or ten. Okay. Um, of that, I already know some of them just don't meet the, the threshold for requirements. Right. So there'd probably be a half a dozen that would go through this process. Is that enough to make it worthy? I believe so, yeah. That's my only real question was, Yeah. is it enough? Yeah. Well, how's my other project coming? Before we answer this question. Which one? <laughs> the only one I bitch about every day. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> when are you going on vacation? Tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. That's not a vacation. I'm sorry. When are you leaving your truck alone? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. For how long? A week. We'll solve that problem. No problem. They all follow up. I'm also, I can make a motion. I'll second that motion. I think I know what they're voting for. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. <laughs> okay. like Pinstripe Pizza Night will be Friday night, guys. <laughs> Uh, approve use of TCC office clerical pool to fill vacancy. Right. So we have a pool left from that original deal. So I guess I would be looking, if you guys are up for it, make a motion to let me run with this time around and see what we come up with out of that few that are left in that pool. So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let's see if I can screw this up. So you're going to Joe's going got to it. We look okay. at the pool of okay. candidates. Okay. He's got the motion. I'm sure there's a nicer way to say that. Other than this right here? <laughs> you're good. Okay. It's been we'll right the lettering on my mind. I get all confused. Gotcha. Reflective, not reflective, red, blue, blah, blah, just all these questions. You've been designated. 
Yeah. He designated himself. Did anybody notice that? Yeah. He fell on his own sword. You get it. You get enough stuff to do all the area towns too. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Remember everybody. We were matching. I'll take that, Mr. Chairman. We're not done yet. We got the the Warren articles are in here. Okay. I'm just telling you. All right. Uh, new business. Mr. Fox? Not tonight, Mr. Chairman. Mr. D. Good, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't have any new business at this time. Cool. Me either. Old business. Fiscal year 19 STM and ATM warrant status that are definitely not in the action folder, including the borrowing authorization. Right. Do you have them on your chair, Emil? I do. Yep. And this really is an updated version of um, what we went through last Thursday evening? There was issues with the um, yes. board members were going to be in what oh. uh, positions? That's in what directed? capacity, yeah. in theory. And we had some CPC questions we had to get resolved today. Yeah. With, with did they answer that? Yeah, we did that. How did they answer that one about the the did admin the and where the admin it's comes still, from? Well, it's, it's the number reserved out of the general number, but it still comes out of the unreserved. So that's the way they. So no, it's that wasn't the the question was is the five percent or whatever the percentage is of the total fund or is it of the general unreserved? I know the money comes from the general unreserved. Right, and that's where we're taking it from. It's, 50, it's going to be that fifteen thousand. But is it of the total fund or is it of just the general unreserved? I think it was of the general unreserved. Okay. Even though the law says it comes from the fund. Right. So, any questions on the special? Yep, straightforward. <laughs> okay. Annual. So, because now this week the um, the constable is going to be coming through and posting these on Friday morning. So wonderful. So this document is going to be finalized to form by town council with his opinion letter stating that he's approved the form, and then he'll have to come through and sign off. Before Friday, this week. Yes. Yep. Yeah. If you look behind me, you can see the posting requirement because of the 15 days <coughs> notice. Go so up 15 plus one. So that brings you up to here. Okay. So you got to sign in the 27th. No later than the 27th. Right. In the morning. All right. <coughs> You're going out of town anyways. 29. We're good. Oh, they got it right in here. So. So we, there was nothing on here that we needed changed. We were just had the question about yep. the CPC. We moved on all the other items to move them to the warrant if That's they were going to go. So this is your draft. So the Malone thing will make it for the uh, sidewalk? Yes. Yes. Great. Yeah, Russ had spoken to uh, him this weekend. Wonderful. And Ben wanted to make sure that since we may not meet for another year, that this was already on there and accommodated for. There's no issue with an appraisal for damages or anything like that because no, they yeah. voluntarily sign Yeah, over. absolutely. Yeah. And again, you, your intent is to use um, 10000 on the special based upon an estimate that was given to you of what, $9,500 yep. yeah. for that second? Yep. You rounded it up to ten. Yep. So that's on the special. Correct. Right. So this this should help you complete one of those items on your goals and objectives. Correct. Well, it's just an embarrassing issue. That's it. It just, you know, of all spots and not right next even to the trail. Yeah. Between doing the rail trail and doing that we've done over the years there, we never did anything with that sidewalk. Well, there was questions regarding the easement and no, the ownership. Absolutely. So now no, this always, solves yeah, everything. Yeah, no, it's all good. Right. Just it's great. Of all spots. Right, so that's that issue. And now there's the um, there is another issue where I think Cindy gave you copies of um, amortization schedules for fire apparatus. Is that and in the chair now, or is that in our? It's under this one. East and there you go. I'll get right back. Because uh, the chief, the chief is putting together a handout where he's going to talk about how the, you know, the debt is rolling off. So we would just be reprogramming the debt rolling off with uh, yep. part of this block. Yeah, I think I threw it in here already. Yeah, so does good. the board have a preference on which of the schedules? Is a seven year, a ten year, a twelve year, and a fifteen year? And they all, of course, have a different mm -hmm. annual payment. I'm good. I, sh I share with Russ. We share one. Eastern Bank right here, right? Yeah. Very good. 
Did Eastern Bank, uh, did Maureen have a recommendation before she left, or she already left? No, she's, she's still there till the middle of June. This will be her okay. last one. Okay. <laughs> she's still there till the middle of June, but uh, uh, one thing you can't do is you can't go over the asset life, so the asset lives match with, with the longest duration. What is right. the asset life? Like 15 20, years 15 now? in terms of like doing it. Well, it'll last longer. The note on it can't go. I get it. Right, right, right. right. Okay. So. so as you can see, you've got different, you know, you could be very aggressive and do it in seven years, or you could do it in 10 years. And so that's what these are? 12 years? Seven, Fifteen, because I right. think There's, everybody right. understands that, Russ, we're going to get at least twenty-five years out of this new rig. What about the pumper? Is that twenty? Both, I mean, that's twenty-five years ish. Is a, both their uh, expected life cycle. And the current, the current engine is how old? Thirty. Well, the, the, the pumper is about twenty. Be twenty-five. The latter thirty. Right, but by the time they replace the year or two years from now, they're another one or two years old. Exactly. Right. Because these things are not off the shelf. No. Right. I'm not sure the so, electronics are going to torture us after 15. So that goes to the yeah, question exactly. of when we gave you the yeah. uh, the debt schedule dropping off over the next couple of years about how you're going to be looking at programming some of this issue, these fire apparatus issues into it. You're also going to be looking at maybe other rolling stock and public works. You're also going to be looking at maybe other infrastructure projects and public works. And of course, you're going to be undertaking a municipal uh, buildings feasibility study to look at the conditions of all the buildings and to orderly determine what needs to be replaced or fixed in each one of those buildings. Well. We've we've talked during the budget season about our infrastructure, you know, being we're behind the eight ball, you know. And then we're talking about our buildings. So I you know, I'm I'm just looking at this, you know, from a taxpayer taxpayer point of view. We're gonna be biting off a lot in the next few years, so so you want to look at how it works. This is already built into the rate now. So right. this is what's yep. rolling off of the rate. <coughs> and what's built, what have you built into the number so far based on this? Because we're not going to incur this debt in 18. We're going to actually incur it in 19. Or I mean right. in 19. You're going to have a, in 19 gonna, you'll have a principal payment at the end of, of this issue here. So. Right. But you're not but carrying But you're still this. carrying the money that it rolls off. Right. Hmm. So, and you have those debt service schedules, you know, you're going to have almost 400 rolling off in the next three years. And who figured the interest? Maureen. Maureen did? Yeah, she does it conservatively. Did you read her email? Yeah, right? because, I mean, what? You know, I, well, so she's we're got we're this at. up to four and a half percent. That's because it's the longer the note. Well, the longer the note, the higher the rate. Right. Yeah. It's but it's, note, it'll but be a little lower than that, too. She prefaces it by saying it's conservative. Right. Which means it's high. Because, right, because we've been, been very lucky, especially we saved a ton of money on uh, on the school uh, debt issue by uh, rolling the dice. I'd just soon roll the dice again, you know. You just need to figure out what, what length of note you're going to want. I mean, I don't think you necessarily have to do it now, but he's going to need that for his public presentation. Yeah. I think, uh, and I think it's that's because it, we haven't, we're a ways from having to take on the long term debt when we get delivery of said truck. We're going to yeah. do some short term stuff to get there, but I think you use, he should use the 10 year note as a, a guideline because that's got, you notice that they put the average. Household number on there for you, so right, I think right. that's the number to use as far as this is what your what, what we this is what that apparatus is going to cost you as a homeowner. Fifteen cents on the tax rate, you know, right? And in in real dollars, yeah, but we have debt rolling off, so right, fifteen. No, but this will be part of this debt replacing debt, just like the school right. does. Oh, I got the you. Six hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. This thirteen yeah. or so cents, you know, if you take the average across the life, you know, thirteen right. to fourteen cents on the tax rate. Yeah. Is going to be this apparatus. What did we figure? What was that? Ten cents on a tax rate was hundred grand. hundred grand. grand. Okay, so so it'd be costing us if we rolled it off of our roll that's rolling off, one hundred and thirty grand a year. Right. The, right. Yeah. Just, just cut to the chase. Take. We got one hundred and thirty. Yeah, give or take. And we got three hundred rolling off in two years. Not that we wanted to all go there, but I, I, all right. 
Right, your policy decision is to make sure until you make your decision, right. it's not going anywhere else. Right. No, that's, exactly. That's a reasonable swipe at the that life is. of the I, apparatus. It's well, that's just this. And then, you know, then you're, you'll have that debt rolling off in 10. Correct. <clears throat> and you may have ongoing infrastructure. Might be you will. Inf other you infrastructure will. of town hall. Right. You know, so you I will. just... That's probably yeah. the number to carry, I think. But the ten or twelve is what I was. Looking I was at. thinking ten. I mean, just, but, but I think ten is, 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 is aside from an ambulance, the chief didn't think he'd be needing another lodge note for apparatus. Oh no, no, no! We don't want to see him again. For no, he's done. Yeah, he's, he's done. done. This is it. This That's is right. his, this is yeah. we're done. Yeah. That's right. And those ambulances, we can rechassis them or something. We're not running out buying new ambulances. And we're going to get those. Those boxes can go on another rider truck. And then we're going to get the the little one next time. Once these ones are done, the little transit connect. The little transit connect. That's all we need. That's right. Right. It's a trend. Oh yeah. Just go back to station wagons. Well, not that quite trend. They don't make caddies like they used to, but you know. Ten, twelve. I'm 10. thinking ten, twelve. I think the ten works, and I get his point. He wants to sell it to the audience, but sometimes you don't have to oversell it either. Exactly. I don't think that there's a ton of opposition to this, and I think if no. you look at the number and you look at what we he's and got, you're and two he'll, pieces out of this too. It's not just, and he has the insurance company numbers too to present at the town meeting of, it's which is more than that. So either you could pay the town or you could pay your insurance company. You know, yeah. your call. one. You know, Westville had a fire this weekend, and we were there with our ladder. Right. So I don't think it's a hard sell. No. Oh, our ladder went out on mutual Absolutely. Aid. Yeah. Mutual aid to that big fire in Westville. Forty people are out of their home. Right. So yeah, uh, your town's going to want the truck replaced. Uh, no doubt. Yeah. So, but I, I mean, I, but if you look at financially, I, I understand where Russ is come coming back from. To one so. cruiser a year for a while, you know, we can get rid of that two cruisers every time we turn around thing. But it's but, it's not yeah. only that. But if you look at it from a ten year, that takes the money off the table. In yeah. ten years, we'll be able to that debt. I, that I like. like. I like in ten years that rolls off. Seven's a little is a big number. Oh, Ten's kind of reasonable. Right. Yeah. But I do that anyway. I have those. Uh, absolutely, I get it. And and I think the rates we're going to get, hopefully, if things stay where they are. You know, who knows where the economy looks like 18 months from now, what rates are going to look like. But rates have been Relatively very rates. advantageous. Yeah. So this well, is plus a, this if is your set value cons- growth, that number also goes down. Of course. And you've got 80 homes coming in here. You've got all kinds of potential that. But we, we like to look at it conservatively. Yep. Right. 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 Well, I'm giving them to you. All right. Absolutely. So. So what do you need from this board at this time? I, really nothing, right? Nothing. I mean, you could give the chief maybe a decision by next week. He's going to be putting a handout together, so he wants to. Well, sounds like he won't have time in the next few days to work on it. So no, he'll be at that conference. He'll be at the conference. And his truck will be right. His truck will be under construction. Place. Yeah. I don't know where the keys are to that truck. Though. We'll you find the keys. I got it. You have the spare set? From Jersey. We don't have keys. Well, then let's just give him guidance tonight. So 10 years? 10 years. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And, and we don't want to see well, you before then, here, again. <laughs> that was the general consensus. You ten years, ten year duration. Ten years, okay. that's Your it. And out. I don't know how much selling you really have to do on the town floor, to be honest with you. This is something that's needed. We've been talking about it for many years. I assume whenever you spend that kind of money that there's... I'm not I would hope there's some really conversation. Detailed, you know. Yeah. But this will give you the... It'll give you the number in the tax rate, give you a number on an average home. Versus the data you've already collected from ISO, Correct. that'll work out. The number works. Right. And you guys did go to Westfield on over this weekend, correct? We stand uh, stood by in their station. Yeah. Okay. And we actually we replaced the oil too the other day, and it was starting to thin out. So there is. It's a little wear and tear. And the antifreeze is in there. Let's do it every two months. It's leaking. It's all. It's like a hay wagon. It'll work out. Kitty litter away. Okay. Well, that's the first thing under old business. Fantastic. Keep the alarm system. Southwick Police Department Lieutenant Recruitment. Yeah, you got uh, last Friday was the deadline, and I believe, Cindy, we received two candidates, and Cindy gave them to you. Were there any? Was in here? Was yeah, it's in here. They're in here. All right. All right. So I, didn't, I didn't see a hundred page book. I'm, I'm I did them. not give you it, one, one paragraph each, no, or what one, happened? One, I didn't one give gentleman you sent in a supplemental trainings and certifications. Where's my seat? Right. 
I saw it. And the other one said, the other one said uh, no, no, that was that, that was that one. And the other <coughs> one said, I'm interested, you know, here's my formal application to use and okay. use my existing material. Perfect. Nice. It was in here. Okay. Well, there you go. Look at that. Yes, nice. I've never seen so little from a police department in my life. Oh, don't worry. I got the other. No, I well, know, no, I they, know where they got the wall. books. I, they're still pieces. in my car. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we should schedule that for. End we should May. get, yeah, towards the end of May. Really? Right. Correct. we we'll just make a motion and do it tonight. No. 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 Give me oh. my two cents. No. You so got election. In May. Right. You, well, you got a meeting next week. You're going to determine whether it's Monday or Tuesday. The 8th, you do not meet because that's election day. Wow. Yes. The 15th is town meeting floor. You do a consent agenda yeah, only. We will no not be doing this. Or interviews. Wow. So that puts you into the next week, 21st, 22nd, somewhere in there. Generally, you reorganize your board. Ooh. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. the chairmanship is a very coveted position. Oh, it's coveted. Yeah. Comes with a styrofoam cup. Coveted. Nobody Never. wants it. Yeah, no one wants it. Well, and then the week after, well, but anyways. and the week after is the, the holiday week with uh, Memorial Day. So you generally what's don't the, meet that. What's the blue holiday before Memorial Day? Twenty first. That's some Canadian. Right thing. in here. Yeah. Victoria Day in Canada. So we're in good shape then. Okay. So you're looking at the twenty first. What do you want? Twenty first, twenty second. Yeah. What? what oh day? yeah. Oh you well. Do the twenty second. Yeah. You want to do the twenty second Tuesday? Yeah. Okay. Reorganize. Do we? Send him a letter, tell him to come on in. No, I think he wants to know whether you can announce who they were shot. Are yeah. we supposed to put these names out now, or do we? Or is it relevant? I, I go right ahead. Yeah, I mean, they're the same people that so were this the last is, interview. Right. One blank. Just kidding. That's just say so. That was Jimmy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so the applicants are Detective Sergeant Robert Landis and Sergeant Rhett E. Banish. There you go. Ta-da. All right, so Sandra, we'll do that on the So we have to second. invite them to that meeting? Yes, yeah. we'll schedule some time. Do we need to each have 16 questions? Yeah, how many three. questions? Three. three. One each or three? Three, three. three. three each. Uh, two each. Nine? No, two each. no, one two each. each. Three questions. Well, you know we've, what? We've questioned these I'll guys you, to death. I'll tell you what we should do. Seeing that there's an election coming, and this board will be organized, when we meet again on the... 22nd. That's when you reorganize. Oh, crap. The same day as me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so never mind. One question. You each. can pair them down. One question. Yeah, the, there you the go. The chairman at the time two? can decide what to do. Put two oh, in. Don't even say that. And the chairman yeah. could. Don't uh, even go there. Okay. Well, you know so, what I mean. Six okay. total questions. I'll let them correct their test. So you're each going to give I got to make sure I get my shirt ready. Two questions. Two questions. Ten minutes each. each. Do we have to wear blue shirts again? Is that what? It no, is? no, no. I'm. I have a special. Oh, the clerk shirt. I, I'm. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Westfield MOA for electrical inspection service. Yeah, we put that on hold. We're waiting for Arthur to come okay. back. Okay. It won't be, it won't be sure. Long. And the home and business show, FYI, is tomorrow, 4.30 to 7. I will at be at the, the ranch. planning board meeting. Is it tomorrow night's planning board meeting? Yeah, but it's the after this is over, Joe. It's okay. 4.30 to 7. Oh, 4.30 to 7. 4.30 to 7. Yeah, this is 4.30 to 7. Wonderful. You guys have a good time. i got to work. Okay. I'll go. I'm going. Uh, I will stop by. Okay. Russ, you're going to stop I by? I definitely will stop okay. by. Okay. Yeah. Spotlight graphics might be there. They do final signs on cars. And then the next item, Mr. Chairman, is your uh, art <laughs> show. And they're going to start setting up for that. You know, for the, the art show, 427. And then, uh, oh, that's this Friday. And then 28, 29, right? right? Is the Thanks. is the form is open to the yeah, public open thing? Twenty twenty nine. And that leads me to a suggestion to the board. Let's sure. have a meeting on Tuesday to give you time to clean up. Exactly. Okay, so you won't be here. I will not. And well it's an election weekend, you know, who knows how it's you gotta go out campaigning out and, and, and everything, yeah. I gotta get those signs up. I, you know, I won't no I yeah. yeah, you're running, right? I missed the meeting and I'm on the ballot. Yeah. So yes. Uh, but I will be out of town. So So you're chairing. Oh. Tuesday night good? Yeah, Tuesday night's good. Keep it light. Okay. What what night? <laughs> Tuesday, okay. Oh, well, the what? first. The first. May first. first. May okay. first, okay. Yep. yep. Yeah. We don't have that remote participation bylaw, so yeah. it is what it is. That's fine. We'll be fine. Or do you want us to can? Do you trust us alone? Dude, I trust you explicitly. Probably a huge mistake, yeah. but I do trust <laughs> you explicitly. 
Blue and gold. Blue and gold. So, so you want to go to four twenty nine three to five at the Legion. That is uh, Sunday. We didn't have to RSVP or anything, did we? Well, they ask that you do. All right, tell them I'll be there. Thank you. Thank you, Russ. You got to remind me. Yep. Okay, 100th birthday, May 3rd. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do we have the thing signed up to sign for that, Cindy? It's a, um, it's going to be downstairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it says we'll right here certificate. at 12 in the senior center. Yeah, so make a certificate and somebody can... <coughs> you can sign it before he leaves, huh? You got to go? I can't. I'll be out of town. Oh. He's got to sign it. But I could sign oh, look, it before oh, okay, I leave okay. town on Friday. He's out of town. Okay. Gotcha. Prepare for Friday. Yeah. Prepare prior. And the, note, the opioid seminar originally scheduled for a snow day is now May 16th. That should be pretty safe from the snow, I would yep. think. Did you see some communities that had already done their, started their street sweeping and then it snowed out? Oh, absolutely. Huh. Well, the, the good news is for us, we're not using as much at, or sand at all, so the street sweeping should be way cheaper. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Veteran Memorial Dedication Ceremony. I tried, I tried. Except for the soil that runs off the properties onto the road. Well, it's not nearly like with the sand. No, I'm not talking about the sand. May 21st, uh, we talked about that earlier tonight. Yeah. Is that thing? We'll cover that again next week. Uh, we are, the veterans VFW is, is sponsoring a uh, veterans memorial in the foyer of the new Southwick Regional School. And the dedication for that is on May 21st. Founder, which paper? I can was give you the their, letter Was that in their publication or was that in the, uh, the Westfield News? I think it was in the Westfield News. Okay, because you could let her know what that one is. Yeah. yeah. You know I'm to get my... Email address because you can always Any ask other me old questions. Business. Yeah. Yeah. Email address. yeah. Okay, I'll get you. Other old business, sir. Sir. Okay. We are going to go into executive session. That is your prerogative, Mr. Chair. Oh, 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 yeah. And do I have a thing to read for you? Yes. I do. And we will not be reconvening in open session, correct? Correct. We don't need to. No. She's going to get the thing for me to read. Oh, yeah. We read email. Thank you, Rusty. John, did you get the executive session roll call? Should we be behind your? I would have gotten it. Should we be behind your agenda? Well, I had the April nineteenth agenda, so. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Which one of these? All of them? Yep. Yep. Uh, the same four times. Okay. So we're going to move to go into exec executive session to conduct strategy sessions in preparation for negotiations with non-union personnel and not reconvene an open session. Uh, move to go into executive session to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining and chair declare that an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining position of the body and not reconvene an open session. Um, Move to go into executive session to consider the purchase, exchange, lease, or value of real property, and then an open meeting. The chair declare that an open meeting may have a detrimental effect in negotiation, negotiating position of the body, and not reconvene an open session. And move to go into executive session to comply with or act under the authority of any general, special, law, or federal grant and aid requirement, and not reconvene an open session. And chapter 214, section 1B, person shall have a right against unreasonable, substantial, or serious interference with his privacy. The Superior Court shall have jurisdiction and equity to enforce such right and in connection therewith to award damages. Uh, Doug Mulvaney. Joe Didier. Ross Fox. Okay. Now we